Quilters. It's T with T Quilts. Today is Sunday, November 5th, 2023. And I'm here. It's the last day of the International the International Quilt Festival with Houston. And uh, I wanted to just show you some of the award quilts. And then I'm going to walk around and show you just a few more quilts. I have a few minutes before I need to be in the booth. So here we go. So this is Gamo presents the Gamo Master Award for Machine Artistry. This person won $5,000 for this quilt. It's gorgeous. A lot of handwork. And it has like some sequins or embellishments to it as well. Uh, winner is Janet Stone, Janet Stone. USA. Yeah. Next quilt is by sponsored by Inova. Master Award for Contemporary Artistry, $5,000 award. This quilt was made by Akiko Masumura, Summer Shower. Let me step back so you all can see the full quilt. And then zoom in so you can see some of the quilting. Next up is Handy Quilter Best of Show Award, 12,500 portrait quilt. Let's see. It looked like it's made out of half inch finished squares. It's monkeys in my hair. And they are, I see them up there. I see them over there. <laughs> Really cute. Another one over here. And it's by Deborah Hyde. USA. Beautiful ribbons as well. Gorgeous. Um, quilting is uh, diagonal lines kind of starting with a square. I don't know if you can see it though, like where her hair ends, right here there's a square and then it kind of rotates out. So it's that type of quilting, but it looks really nice. Gorgeous. This is Superior Threads. Um, Threads Master Award for Thread Artistry, $5,000. Step back so you can see the entire quilt. Um, some by someone from Japan. I have to show you the sheet, I can't read that name, so hold on a second. I want you to see oh my OM to the G. Beautiful, look like all hand needle turn applique with pieced frames. So let's get to the sign here. That's who made it. <laughs> the next one is by Judy Crotts. Those Dawn Boys out of USA. And this is Janome's Innovative Artistry Award, $5,000 winner. Gorgeous. Beautiful quilting. 
And I think this is the last one, the Grace Company Master Award for Traditional Artistry. Oh my goodness, $5,000 award by Kathy Willey, Wiley of Canada. Beauty in the Broken. And this quilt has all open spaces. So I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this. I wanted to make sure you could see the quilt. But everything through this quilt is open. Just gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Even the scroll work around the leaves. Awesome. Then I'm gonna zoom over here so I can show you the border quilting. All of that's open space there. And then right here is all open space with the scroll work and the scallops as well in the binding so just gorgeous work beautiful and very creative all right so i'm going to just dip in show you some quilts i'm not gonna like i said i don't have a whole lot of time so i'm just going to show you what i'm seeing but i wanted to at least show you some of the show winners from the sponsors And I was trying to look for some particular quilts, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to find them in such a short period of time. I love this. Isn't that a nice string quilt? See if I can take a picture of this while I'm recording. <laughs> so I had to stop uh, recording to get my picture, but it's called Compliments by Kathy York, and it is available for purchase. Just so you know. <laughs> and I'm just gonna spin around. Ooh, I love, I love. I don't know um, basketball players' names, but very beautifully executed. We're gonna go find out who it is. Beautiful applique quilt. The sun on the next Traveler Horizons. Kobe, okay. <laughs> I don't follow. Um, I don't. I'm just not a person that normally follows like singers and ball players, so I don't really keep up with the names of stuff like that, of people like that. <laughs> so I watch and enjoy, and then I move on. This is beautiful quilting. Oh my God, this whole quilt's beautiful. Look at that. I'm gonna back up so you all can see this whole row by row quilt with a border frame. Just gorgeous. That quilt's by, I'm gonna tell you. Mariah Waters out of Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. Beautiful work. Another open. Is it open? I gotta get up close to see. No, it's just black on black. Okay, so it's black, it's not open. Beautiful composition. I'm trying to find a couple of quilts, one from a lady in Cape Girardeau that uh, one of her quilts won an award. I'm just trying to find it and uh, do a quick walkthrough. Ooh, I love these tumbling blocks. Look at this. This is called Rough Cut, which I see nothing rough about it. It is just gorgeous. OMG, beautiful. 
and I just noticed as I was about to walk away that it comes into a secondary design here you got the regular tumbling block here and then you get these every once in a while as well interesting <laughs> let's see if it has a pattern name this was by Peter Hayward and original design so yeah beautiful work Peter beautiful sampler quilt back there this one has a board for third place in applique it's a lot of gorgeous applique in here so beautiful okay more ribbons here um, second place in applique out of Japan wild rose and then this is first place for machine, no, for applique, I'm sorry. And it's uh, out of Australia. Gorgeous. <laughs> right. So this exhibit here is sponsored by True Cut. It's just their piece category. Ooh, look at all the sparkles. I don't know if it shows up on the camera. See if I turn sideways. You can see a little bit, but not a lot. Lots of sparkles. Ooh. This is first place in the piece category. Beautiful. Second place. This is gorgeous too. Love the pattern. Flying in circles. Design source is walking in circle. A free block design by Bridget Heatland of Zen Chic. Let me get closer so you can see that. Because it's beautiful. <laughs> and then third place is Act 2. It's gorgeous as well. I'll see if there's a pattern source. Nine, seven and one half inch multicolored strip. Piece squares were repurposed from a quilt top that I made in a Louisa Smith class. This quilt top was abandoned due to measurement issues, but I felt that I could use pieces of it in a new quilt top. So, very pretty. I like that how the stripes have been interspersed with like two different pieced units. Very pretty. <laughs> Ooh, this one's cute too. I like the movement on this. I like both, all of these actually. <laughs> Just gorgeous work. You can't even give all these quilts the time they deserve. This is another stunning piece from Four Way.
This is Pilgrim by Pilgrim and Roy by Amy Paps um, out of West Virginia, USA. Very beautiful. I love the piecing. The pattern source is inspired by an antique quilt in the color collection of Paul Pilgrim and Gray and Roy. It was foundation pieced on a featherweight. This little miniature here. This quilt's about 18 inches long, just so you get a size perspective. <laughs> Another quilt. nice um, block here um, I think this is called shall we dance I like the cattywampness of this block and then the fact that she quilted in something very similar in the other blocks is awesome I think that's what this is it says it's designed yeah it makes sense it's the dying source is Karen K stones paper piecing pattern Wow women don't get the blues <laughs> so very pretty and uh, the designer used all piece block. I got tired of paper pieces, so I changed my design to have alternating plain blocks where I could show off some machine quilting. Border is also my design. This was made by Amy Lippitt of New York, USA. This is an Edita Sitar pattern, I know that, but let's see who made it and entered it. It is Emerald Rom Romo of Missouri City, Texas. Just thought I'd give a shout out. She's at the show as well. I have not gone into her booth to take a picture with her. We'll see if it happens today. <laughs> I know I love scrappy quilts. Very pretty. It's put together on point. No, it isn't. It's not put together on point, but it gives that illusion of being put together on point. So you have two blocks. Very nice. I like that. And this is an original design called... Um, the quilt, top, the quilt top is called Woven Together. The pattern is a combination of pinwheels and sawtooth stars with a pinwheel inset. Okay. And uh, very pretty. I like the way it trails through the quilt. And scrappy. Here's another quilt that drew my attention with the use of light and dark values without using plain fabrics for your lights. It's by Melissa Tweed called Tom Petty. The original design source is the snowball block. Very pretty. And they just kept the center square blue in all the blocks. Very pretty. Great use of uh, scraps. A lot of sports quilts here. I don't know if this is an exhibit or not. 
I'm bypassing this quilt here. <laughs> and I don't know if I showed you that quilt, but it's gorgeous too, just in case. <laughs> I love the lines and then in the background and other stuff happening in the foreground. Just walking. <laughs> We've been on that side. I guess I didn't slide over. <laughs> Those are the winners of the applique. Oh, Minji, look at this exhibit back here for butterflies. <laughs> I'll come back to that. This is another exhibit, I think. Color and context red. S-A-Q-A. -I don't know what that means. Maybe we'll find a sign. Beautiful big quilt. This quilt's got to be king size. It is huge. Patriotic quilt made in the USA. <laughs> This is funny. Cowboys or women, cowgirls or women with boots, guts, and poodles. <laughs> That's too cute. scrappy quilt back there. And I know I'm gonna Ooh, look at those colorful circles back there. That quote was made by Kathy York. I think I've said her name before, Austin, Texas. And I know I'm not gonna find the quotes I'm looking for, but doing the best I can with what time I have. I have to be back in the booth and I need to run to the restroom as well. if I get time and it'll be just tacked on to this video when I get home I'm actually using my camera now instead of my phone because I've ran out of space on my phone and I didn't want it to cut off on me so ooh, look at that all the way down there oh I think I saw that before but it's just so pretty I I'm looking at it again. This is that applique awards, and apparently I like a lot of quilts over there. <laughs> 
and we haven't even gone on this side of the room we've just done half of this side <laughs> it's a lot a lot of quilts so steady exhibit that's a nice sampler quilt nice hodgepodge of getting it all put in got orphan blocks great way to use them up gorgeous different techniques you've been learning this is abstract by um, so steady it's the sponsor of this exhibit and look at that <laughs> it's got a ribbon on it let's see what this ribbon is can't tell you what this ribbon is. I'm going to show it to you. You can let me know. $250 prize, it says. It's called The Nanny, and it is available for purchase by Irene Roderick. Nice portrait quilts. I like looking at them far away. So you can see the beauty of it made with log cabin blocks in the background and I guess whatever it took in the middle custom design there yeah, very nice more gorgeous quilts Lots of sequins on this one on the side. So let me show you a close up of the work. The thread is doing it most of the work. Got some ribbon work as well, and then sequins, crystals, whatever. <laughs> Hmm. Hi. Oh, MG, just beautiful. They just keep getting prettier and prettier. I'll show you some of these pictorials here. And this one's the winner here of this category, $250 prize. Just gorgeous. I'm gonna show you the, they use some gold metallic thread for quilting. This was by Quilters Rule. And this is the sheet on it. Beautiful. <laughs> A lot of 
animal quilts here. Just giving you all a quick sweep. I know it's bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> and they had a baby as well. This is all brands, pictorial small, modern quilt gill quilts on that side. <laughs> Here's your pictorial quilts. Very nice. Our nano machine quilting. Look at that. This battery is about to run out. I got one more battery I'll do on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip out and go over to this four wall. Somebody told me there was a quilt over here I needed to see. So we're going to skip a little bit. We're skipping where the Texas thing is. And I have to go up and around because they've got the booth here for International Quilt Festival. Somebody told me it was a quilt over here I needed to see. Oh, beautiful landscape quilts. Let's get down here. I love this red bridge. <laughs> this quote here is three panels. It's gorgeous. He's smoking a cigar. I think that's what he's doing. He could be playing <laughs> an instrument for all I know. One, two, three. It must be over here. Well, let's see. Magical Gate of Forest Song out of Ukraine. Very nice, beautiful. And let's go back this way. See if I can find a few more quilts. It's getting really close for time for me to go. I'm getting close to the max that I can record in one session on here as well. But Beautiful. Ooh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Lots of beautiful things over here. This is something to do with voting votes for women. And 
Undaunted by Hollis Chatlin. Beautiful. The Radicals. Susan B. Anthony. Ida Wells. Awesome, awesome. So I just came back because my battery ran out just to say that this was, this exhibit is Women's Voices, Women's Votes, and Women's Rights. Just wanted you all to see that. There's a lot more over here. So just wanted you to see this part. I will see you all later. Oh, this quote is now, has no one in front of it. So let me zoom out so you can see the whole thing. Just gorgeous. Hi, it's T, and I'm coming back to show you this quote here. It looks like a t-shirt quote, and I haven't read anything about this, but it is the one of the biggest quotes in the show. And I just showed you the brochure that they have up about it, or the information they have about it, and you can pause the screen and read. But I wanted to show you this quote. And... It's just, um, well, it's some meandering quilting, some ditch quilting, some custom, so it's actually custom quilted. So I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know if it was a quilt as you go because I can't see the back, but I just thought that I would come show you this quilt here. So now we're going to go to butterflies and I'm going to come back. So we're here at the Monarch. Cherrywood challenge and I just wanted to show you the rules before we start looking at quilts and then there are a lot of quilts so just let me span down here up over this way got more of them and down there all right so I do like that the names are under so if you want to see that I don't have to tell you awesome a ribbon fifth place Ribbon on this is staff choice. Ribbon on this is judge's choice. Beautiful work here. Very intricate quilting. I'm pretty sure that this will be in Paducah next year. So if I'm looking at it now, 
I can go back and watch my video and I don't have to stop in Paducah for this show. It's beautiful. This ribbon says honorable mention. This ribbon is an honorable mention. I mean this, yes, this ribbon is an honorable mention. <laughs> this is a staff choice. Very pretty. This one is third place. This one is Staff Choice, very pretty as well. 3D flowers. Ooh, that's gorgeous too. This is a Judge's Choice. mention <laughs> staff choice Fourth place. And we've got to go this way. So this is C5. Butterfly wing is 3D. Some more 3D. That's cute. Yeah. Late summer song, no pink seeds for major travelers. Ribbon says honorable mention. Pretty flowers and butterflies. 
Ribbon is honorable mention. It's a Frida Kahlo one. Pebbles are cherry. You should honestly prefer pebbles. Are fair, yeah. Yeah. One of the easier fill fillers. Hmm? No, no, no. I was thinking you should do you know, like just like. Pretty butterflies. She was videotaping. I, you know what I'll say something this is honorable mention I know so so they have to put each little piece together I think they do it by hand first and then they come back and quilt yes I believe this is that one's interesting Yes, very. This ribbon is for second place. Seventh place? Second. It's beautiful. And so how they get all this little bubble looking stuff, Joanna? That's your batting you put in it plus your stitching. So you just have to sit down and stitch round and round and round. Yep. Uh, she had a plan when she got started. And so Are where is get... first place was? I think it's on this side of the wall. Yeah, I think that's where I remember. So those are all fabric. Yeah. They have some kind of stabilizer in there. Yeah. So do you do this kind of work? <laughs> <laughs> I admire it. Okay. This is so first place. Yeah. Ma'am, here is first place right here. That's what. She 
I want you to so miss it, this one here. Thank you, I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. How in the world I wonder they judge this? It's very difficult. It's all on the judge's perspective, and anybody could win based on any judge. That's, the that's whole anything video, huh? that's any anything that's judged is somebody's opinion. Because everybody sees it in a different light. Mm -hmm. OMG, we still got all of this wall. All of that. This is a very large, oops, a very large display. I just kicked the table. <laughs> They're all just beautiful. This one has 3D petals. Just gorgeous. All the leaves and everything is 3D as well. So, very difficult. This one is sixth place. More 3D-ish items like I think it's I think it's needle turned. I don't know. Very pretty though, but got some 3D elements to it as well. some music so I'm gonna put music on top of this segment I don't know oh it's a anime concert on the other side of this wall <laughs> so I will most definitely be putting some music over this Beautiful, love it.3D as well. It's just beautiful. I don't know how you'd pick one of these. I'm glad I wasn't a judge. <laughs>
ribbon is staff choice. Judge's choice. Okay. Hi, how are you? So I'm going to end this segment here since we have seen the monarch butterflies, and I will either. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to show you this very long quilt and see what it was about. Hi, how are you? Hi, fine. Doing? How you doing, Thomasina? Thomas. I'm Thomasine. Thomasine. Okay. Thomasina. Okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure without looking at your name. Thomasine. Thomasine. I'm going to be you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I think this was the quilt they were telling me to look at. So let's see what it's about. And it is long, so we're gonna just back up. for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe share my channel with your other quilting friends and I'll see you in my next video bye bye tea quilters stay blessed